All right, welcome to Ulti.tv's coverage of the final round here at AMUC 15 in Canberra. We have Wes Woodley in the white playing Canale in the green. Wes Woodley on offense and a defense there by Canale. Matt Dishy. The huck goes up. Henry has a bit of space out the back and catches that score. 1 0 Canale in the 3 4 playoff here. Linus puts the pull up for Canale. Joel receiving that one in the corner there. Quick give go. Canale playing some kind of transition zone. The huck is up. And just a slight misread there by Cupcake in the end zone. Positioning by Kai. Forces the turn there. Winky with the disc. Pick called. But it looks like the disc will stay with her. Call was off the play. Back in play here. Good effort on the D there by Pete and just apologizing, apologizing for accidental contact. As he came back around. Chuck now dishy to Linus in a bit of a power position, puts up the backhand huck, and there's a player there with a lot of space, but looks like that one might have been in. That's a score for Canale. So 2 0 here in the 3 4 playoff. Coming up here from Canale. A lot of hang time on that. And some nasty contact there. Cupcakes pulling out of a bit for the disc, but unfortunately. Absolutely cleaning up the Canale defender. I think it's Sarah Hassan. Looking pretty dazed out there. Obviously taking an injury sub there. Disc back in play. Where's Woodley with the disc? Flick goes up. Cupcakes and Kai. Cupcakes over the top, just outside the end zone, and punches it into Laura for the score. Great bid there by Cupcake to bring that one down. And Laura wide open in the end zone. Makes it 2 1 to Canale. It's a little bit of a high stall count there on the sideline, but managed to get that one off. Oh, just a little casual. Receiving the dunk back. Forces the turnover. And now where's Woodley on the doorstep? AJ swings off to Joel. Swings again to Peter. Who puts up the break throw and Laura lays out. But it looks like that may have just been dropped. Uh, some kind of call though. Not too sure what the call was. No, it seems like it's been retracted, so turn over there. Laura un unable to hold on to the deflected layout there. Now Winky. There's a player deep, but the huck isn't there. Henry coming back to Phil and puts up a big flat backhand huck. 
in the play with plenty of space there in the end zone. Makes an easy catch for the score. So Canelay now 3-1. Pull up from Canelay. Sitting quite deep in the in the Wes Woodley end zone there. Cupcakes gets the under. Looking for the huck, but decides against it. And that's a turn. Peter just not quite ready for that one by the looks. Kai now swings across to the far side. And that one just over Kai's head. At the front corner of the end zone there. So a turnover. And where's Woodley will set up a horror stack at the front of their own end zone. Backhand huck, hanging nicely for Cupcake. Been having some good contests with Kai. And so far, coming up with the goods. Looking for a dump now. Gets that one away. And Woodley, just taking some time and actually calling a timeout. Yeah, to make sure they set up the right play. And try and punch in that score. The score so far is 3-1. To Canalay. Oh. Also known as cannoli, canoodle, amongst other things. So Woodley set with their end zone play. Canelay on their toes. Break throw up. Cupcakes over Kai again. And he has just been dominating that contest, really. Coming down with it every time. That one for the score. So 3 2 to Canelay. Inside out. Taken by Henry. Moving on to Linus. Matt Dow. Moving quickly here, Canelay. A little floaty there. Foul called by the sounds of things. Or possibly just an owl. Looks like no call there. A turnover. So AJ picking up for Wes Woodley. And the throw goes up. But there may be a pit call. 
great layout there for the score. Except it was a pick. Great chase down, nevertheless. Would have been a turnover had he not caught that disc. So the disc comes back to AJ. Unlucky for that score not to count. Possibly going to be looking for violation there. Just players starting a little too early. Possibly going to be looking for the same same shot is AJ. No. Another pick called there. Things obviously just a little bit too cluttered to begin with. Just can. And the backhand put is up. But A Rodge had stopped running. Henry doesn't care, chases that one down the whole way. He wants that disc. Not too sure what the call was there, but looks like it's being sent back to the thrower again. Had about four stoppages on this one throw. So the stall count now up at six. And they'll need to move it pretty quickly, Wes Woodley. Great break swing there from AJ. And the huck goes up from Woodley for Laura. Can't quite pull that one down on the far corner of the end zone. up to the front of the end zone. Where's Woodley playing quite a poachy day there? And causing Canale to get a little bit jammed up. But seeing some nice movement now. Winky on the sideline. Back across to Henry, who throws the very casual breakside flip. And now they've put up, and Winky catches that. The defender's obviously not quite ready there. Winky goes for the throw and I think catches the Where's Woodley player in the face, possibly. Looks like there's some kind of call. Maybe a foul. Winky possibly hadn't released the disc there as the defender came through. So three Where's Woodley players right on the disc and a couple of Canale players open in the end zone. So it'll be an interesting, interesting couple of seconds here as, as everyone gets themselves sorted and back in position. Discussion, bit of discussion at the disc. Not too sure exactly what that's about. Disc comes in on zero. Moved quickly across to, across to Linus. there back to Winky. Pretty chaotic out here. And there was a pick call which probably hasn't affected that throw. But a stoppage nonetheless. Side out breakthrough for the score, making it 4 2, I believe.
Pull goes up. Joel moving quickly to AJ. Pulls that one down. Looks like a zone from Canale. Floaty there, but Cupcakes, no, unable to keep that one in. Possibly some kind of call. On the throw. Not too sure what that was. Looks like possibly a foul. AJ on the other side of the field. Just a little one-two with Joel there. And then a cheeky inside out. Defence there, intercepted on the release. Hammer, crossfield to Canelo player. Puts up the flick. And that is an easy score for Canelo. Making it 5-2 here in the playoff. Pull up from Linus. Very high, very floaty. Possibly out the side there. Yep. Just fading off. So Joel will take the brick for Wes Woodley. If you have Linus, if you have mate, make me pull out too. Cron just telling Linus it's the hat that forced that pull out the side. Certainly if Cron's pulls are anything to go by, that must be true. Wearing the same hat as Linus there. Woodley's now moving pretty quickly up that sideline against the Canale zone. Cupcakes puts up the bladey flick. And A-Rog catches that one in the end zone for the score, making it 5-3 to Canale. So Woodley's still a couple of points behind, but well in this game. Cupcakes puts the pull up for Wes Woodley, and that is hanging and hanging and hanging. But not staying in. Looks like it may have gone out about two-thirds of the way up the field. It's a little bit of a look long, but not on, so just tight on the sideline there. And a crossfield throw by Winky. Canelay in, in good positions here. And the scooter comes up. Cupcake pulls that one down and gets excited about the D. Scuba there, possibly not the right choice. Joel puts the hook up. Cupcakes plus two defenders. Henry pulls that one down without too much trouble. Just had the better body position there. Winky now with the disc on the sideline. Moving up. Moving in the area. Joel. And that put across to the far sideline. Just beautiful. Making it too easy for Henry. Joel did everything right, but just couldn't cover all those areas. So the score for Canelay makes it 6-3. Here at your three. So Matt Dow pulling for Canelay. Into a slight breeze. To the front corner of the end zone there. Peter puts up a backhand throw, but there's a foul on the throw. Cupcake just reiterating that was a backhand. Not too sure what the relevance of that one is. Looks like it was an uncontested call, I believe. Pass there. Right, 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 right. Oh, right on the sideline. Puts up a lovely inside out crossfield throw. Don't know how there was no players in the path of that, but straight across to the other side for the score. 6 4 here at the 3 4 playoffs. Three, two, one. Let's go, Woodley! 
Joel puts up the pull for Wes Woodley. And just picks up and moves to Henry. And a throw up already. But that one just out of reach. Need to be a little more outside in there. Joel breaks across field to Cron. Just a little dish of the cut pack. Cupcakes and Joel just working it between them now across to the other side of the field. And the psych out D there causing A Rodge to just back out of that catch. Floaty throw for Henry. Not sure if he can quite say he had control over that. He's at his fingertips and just didn't quite hold on to it, I don't think. Possibly already out the back of the end zone. So Pete bringing this one up for Wes Woodley. Kind of like just missing out on that score. A little strike to Joel, who quickly puts up a flick for Cupcakes. Linus hustling back, but not going to get there in time. Cupcake with the open score. That makes it 6-5 to Canale. Getting back to a very close game here at this point. Cupcakes with the pull for Wes Woodley. Across to the far side. And lands in but rolls out. So Canale will have time to set up. Looks like a horror stack from Canale. Great bid there by the Wes Woodley player. Didn't quite get the D though. Looks like there might have been a pick call a couple of seconds ago. Space, but that throw just a little, little too quick for AJ to chase down. Bit of a lost opportunity there for Wes Woodley. A little tip there on. Get Laura! Laura! Yeah, Laura! Just out of reach there for Sarah. So that's kind of the sideline. That takes picking up. AJ poached on the far sideline. Was that one down? Now no mark on. Oh, really, not really giving him much. And that outside in crossfield backhand just getting carried out the back by the breeze here. That breeze coming from your right of screen. <coughs> Oh, 
Cut back poaching. Cupcake, uh, Canale rather, struggling a little bit to get away from their own end zone. Just not seeing quite the space they need. Matt Oswald, nearly getting a fingertip on that swing pass. Not quite. Canale starting to see the passes they want now. And the backhand, Io Huck goes up. Mark and Joel in the area. Joel reaches across there, those long arms just too much. Gets the D. Timeout called. Incredible D there by Joel Pillar. Jumping to a replay of that awesome D by Joel. Just had no business being in that space. Getting right over the top of Mark there. And you can see the disappointment on Mark's face as well. AJ, the intended receiver. Joel at the front corner of his own end zone. Receiving back from AJ there. Putting up a little floaty breakside throw. Wes Woodley seeing some great movement here. Cupcakes right in the middle of the field. With Dishy there. Coming out of Matt Dow, uh, Matt Oswald brother. Just not quite releasing that one as intended. So the turnover for Canelay. Mark now on the sideline. Swings back to Matt Dell. Canale just probing for options, and now the throw goes up, and Mark pulls that one easily. Sitting up very nicely for him. So Canale with the score there, making it 7 5, I believe. Just been able to hang on to this lead of around two points pretty much since the start. So quite a close game here at AMUC. goes up there from Canelay. Rolling nicely in the end zone. Where's Woodley with a bit of space? Minus getting up for that one. Gets the... Bit of confusion over a possible call. Linus saying no call, but Pretty much everyone else calling it a strip, so looks like Linus will retain possession there. For Canale. Goes for the break throw. There was a pick before the throw, but debatable whether that affected, and Kai saying no, it didn't. So that'll be a turnover for Wes Woodley. Peter getting some space on the hey, sideline. Looking up. And Woodley's there. Linus also. Woodley put up a great leap. 
but couldn't quite come down with it. But there has been a call on the throw. Foul there. So Pete will take that one again. Looks like it's uncontested, I believe. Just bouncing off that sideline. AJ going long, and it's gone up. He's there, there's two defenders as well. And Henry pulls that one down from in front. So Canelay now with a bit of a quick break, possibly, but just didn't quite have the options to take advantage of that. Henry now looking long and puts up the huck. That's sitting up very nicely. Cupcakes in the area. Puts out the layout, but cannot, cannot get a finger on that. And it looks like that'll be a score for Canelay. Great throw, great catch, and great defensive bid on that play. So that's half for Canelay at from Wes Woodley. That one out to the left, but just coming back in. Caught there by Linus. Thought about letting that one go and possibly land out, but decided better. Henry out to the sideline. Thought about a flick huck there, but opted not to take that. Now the flick up. Four girls plus cupcake in the area. Cupcake comes down with that one. Swing to Joel. Moving up the sideline now. Flick up from AJ to Cupcake. Linus trailing behind there. And Cupcake jumps in, spikes that one for the score. Making it 8-6, Canelay. Cupcakes pulling for Wes Woodley. Canelay playing a horror stack. Winky dishes now. Canelay have it midfield. Plenty of options near the end zone. And the hammer goes up. Peter in the area. But can't quite get there for that one. So Canelay pulling the score. And that's 9-6 Canelay. It's fine, I'll get you. 
Yeah, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. First pass. Mark with the pull for Canale. A little bit short into the wind. Which has picked up slightly. Starting to definitely become a factor in this game. Wes Woodley taking their time, working it between their handlers. There's a long option on it. And the huck has been put up. Woodley is there and lays out for the score. So the score there for Wes Woodley, Woodley of Wes Woodley, makes it 9-7 to Canale. Still anyone's game. Canoodle receiving the pull. Linus to Matt Dow. Playing the horror stack. Been a popular choice here today. Linus just a little too much on that. The receiver there. So Tim Canoli on defense now. Joel Dishy to Cupcake. Lots of space in that end zone. Easy throw. And that's a score for... No, not a score. It's been a pick call. A bit of discussion about whether or not it affected the play. Looks like the verdict is that it did. So Cupcake will take that disc back. Bit of discussion, but Cron has a bit of space there. Cupcakes looks off. Joel with the swing. Just outside the end zone there. On the corner. Big blade. Cron with a bit of space. Pulls that one down. No trouble. Where's Woodley score to make it 9-8? Close game here in the third, fourth playoff. Canoodle versus Team Atlas. Where's Woodley? Team Carnival. Henry. That's that one roll towards the back of the end zone. Right out the back there. Callahan! Calls of Callahan. Callahan. Can Canoli hold on to this one? Looks like they've managed to work it forwards a little bit. Matt down now, right on the sideline. Puts up the flick. And there's a player there with lots of time, lots of space. Easy score for Team Canoodle, and that makes it 10-8 for Team Canoe. Got about 10 minutes to go in this final match. Canalay pulling and that one, just floating nicely and staying in comfortably, giving kind of like plenty of time to work down. Oh, puts up the flick. And that was a great effort by AJ. Not sure whether he was able to toe the line there or not. Looks like no. The frisky players just a little close to the sideline there as well. Canoli now. Right on the corner of their own end zone. In a bit of trouble. Puts up the hop. Sasha manages to keep that one in. 
and that's worked out very well for Canelay. Timeout called by Sasha, right on the sideline for Canelay. So with probably under 10 minutes to go here, you'd think Woodley would be really keen not to not to give this point away and be facing a three-point deficit going into the final stages of this game. Play here of that shot, whether AJ was able to keep that in or not. Very close, just whether he was able to keep that back foot down as he caught it. Doesn't look like it. So some a good call there by all players. And a great effort by AJ. Unlucky not to hold on to that one. So Canelay setting up their end zone play here. Stall count is probably about four, maybe five. Seven, in fact. Still seven. So Canelay will have to move this very quickly on their end zone play. Scooper up. Kai holds onto that one. And... There is an offensive foul called there, I think, by Matt Oswald. Just copying, and an injury timeout, just copying maybe the follow through on the bridge of his nose. So Cupcake's taping the, taking the field for Wes Woodley. Not sure exactly what the call was there, but Canelay have held onto the disc, and there's just a pick call there. Canelay right on the doorstep here. If they can get this one, it will be a three-point lead. Big swing there. JY. Sasha now with the disc. Just a little dishy. And a great shot there. Oh! Just popped out of the hands of the Canelay receiver there. So Woodley's will get a chance to bring this back to a one point lead. Only a few minutes remaining, so you'd think they really need to get this score. Hey Rod's just holding onto that one. Almost a D. Swing to Joel. Good aggressive mark there. And AJ now putting up the flick hook. Great grab there. And Cupcakes has a bit of space in the end zone. Sasha, the defender, thought there was a throw coming and just leapt up a little too early and out of position for the next throw. So Cupcakes gets the score there, making it 10 9 to Canelay. Very close game here. Cupcakes with the pull for Wes Woodley. Great outside end pull. Caught in the middle of the end zone. Linus now with a disc just outside the cannoli end zone. Winky, a little bit of a wobbly throw up the line there to Matt Dow. Puts up the flick. Laura's in the area. A little bit of a late attempt there and just apologizing to the receiver who caught the score for Team Canoodle. So that is 11-9, back to a two-point lead here in the third, fourth playoff at AMUC 15 in Canberra. Look at Woodley's elbow. 
I do think everyone needs to get a look at this elbow. Can we get a camera on that? Me meanwhile, Wes Woodley received the pull and their handlers work it up. They throw up AJ and Henry in the area. Henry just not quite reading that one. Big high release break from AJ. Gets the score for Wes Woodley. Henry, just a little shake of the head there. Had the audacity of that throw. So that makes it 11-10. Canelay over Wes Woodley. It's been a suggestion that we should maybe poke it with something and see what comes out. Joel putting up the pull for Wes Woodley. Hanging and hanging and hanging, but it looks like that's out the side. Called Brick by Matt Dow. Cupcakes getting some heckling from the frisky sideline. Claiming he's deep, deep, but then proceeding to go and mark a player. Not down now. Swing over. Foul on the throw. And that stayed out. So they're just coming back to the thrower, that foul call. Big slap sound there. Swing there. Pick called though. I'm not sure if that affected. Looks like the disc will stay with Mark. Currently, no force on. Where's Woodley changing their force two or three times this point? So far, not suffering any more consequences from that. Canelay just on the doorstep, tried to rush that one in, and Peter Gardner gets the, the D. Gets the one, two. Cupcakes has a bit of space. The hammer goes up. Audacious. Cupcakes goes to leap that one in, I think, but it was not really anywhere near the end zone just yet. Looking for the breakthrough. There's Woodley on the doorstep. Big swing, and Laura pulls that one in for the score, which makes it 11 all in this 3 4 playoff. What a game. Brought to you by Ulti.tv. Pull up from Wes Woodley. Again, some great hang time there. And this one's staying in. Henry receiving that just in front of his end zone. Woodley had some nice time to set up there. Matt Dale to Winky, middle of the field. JY. And Matt Dale looking long, but the throw not there. Winky gets a great gainer there. Little one on the line. Linus straight into the end zone for the score, making it 12-11 to Team Canoodle. Nice quick point there from Canoli. Seeing their options and taking them. So it'll be a game to 13 or 14. coming up from Team Canola Oil. Woodley setting up a side stack. 
Quick movement there, but just over the top. Of the receiver there. Woodley's now struggling to find their players on D. Canelay choosing the safe option and just, just working between the handlers for now. Kai gets down to there, little gainer. Dishy. Canelay finding some good gains up that sideline there, the far sideline. And up the line for the score, making it 13-11. So it's game to 14 here in the third, fourth playoff. So Woodley working out of their own end zone. Playing a side stack by the looks. Cupcakes looking long. The throw's up and Cupcakes has a bit of time there. Catches just outside the end zone. Takes his time now. And puts up the dishy. Easy score by AJ. Making it 13-12. Anyone's game. Great throw there by the Woodlands player to find Cupcake. So both teams ready. Cupcakes puts the pull up for Wes Woodley and that is not coming back in. Out of field pretty early on probably before it reached the halfway point. So you'd think Team Canoodle will take this from the sideline. No, he's indicating a brick. Indicating a brick there. Canelay looked to be setting up with a fairly traditional vert stack. Looking to punch in a quick score for the win here in the 3-4 playoff. Matt Dow going long and the huck is up. Joel is also in the area, gets up and is able to just push that one far enough away that Matt Dow can't get to it. Woodley's now have a lot of options for quick movement. All the options are there. Adrian takes his time, puts up the huck. Just straight over the top of Pete's head. He wasn't able to, to find that one. So Canelay will get another chance here to put away this third, fourth playoff. And you can just see the beginnings of warm-ups from Supernova and Frisky on the sidelines. Frisky opting for the dance warm-up. Supernova doing a few throws. Meanwhile, Joel nearly gets the D on the doorstep of the end zone. Oh, and the layout hand block. Real crunch stuff here from Wes Woodley. And AJ holds on to that one for the score. Exciting stuff here. That is 13 all. Universe point. So the pull coming up here from Wes Woodley. Universe point here. I've said it a couple of times, but 
This is a critical point. You might say it's the most critical point of the game. Great layout bid there from Peter Gardner. No force on. JY is wide open. Gives to Sash, but no. Interception by AJ. Great play by both teams here. Cupcakes just taking his time. Letting his team work upfield a little bit. AJ puts that up. Pete is there. Gets the score. And where's Woodley take the win? 14-13 over Canelay in the third, fourth playoff here at AMUC 15 in Canberra. Absolute edge of your stuff, edge of your seat stuff at the end of this game. And where's Woodley able to rake back that lead that Canelay held almost the entire game and secure themselves the third place win. Finals coming up next.